Deputy's here to explain a little bit about these EF ratings on tornadoes, Andy. Yeah, well, we've got a little quiet weather tonight. We've got some time to talk about it, and, and this is certainly something that has been on everyone's tongues over the last 24 hours. The Enhanced Fajita, uh, Fajita Scale, named after the uh, researcher who originally put together the scale, Fajita, it has been added to and fine-tuned, so now we call it an Enhanced Fajita Scale. Zero through five, just like hurricanes are, are measured uh, all by winds. And the winds are estimated by the type of damage that is done when the storms touch down. So, for instance, the storm in Salado has been categorized as an enhanced Fujita 3 because it had what we estimate to be 165 mile an hour winds. So we come up with that by the damage. If it can break a tree that is 12 inches in diameter, then it very likely has winds of better than 150 to 160 miles an hour. So that's how we come up with the scales that we have in these storms. Tonight, skies are clear. All the stormy weather has moved off into Louisiana and Mississippi right now, down along Interstate 10 and towards the Gulf waters. We're left with beautiful starlit skies this evening and already down in the low 60s most cases. 60 in Waco, 64 in Marlin, and in Temple, 65, Copper's Cove and Colleen at this hour, 62 already down in Gulfway. By morning, I think we can very likely say lows tonight down into the mid-40s, 46 for Waco, 44 for Temple, and probably about 45 in the Colleen Copper's Cove area. Clear skies, cool tonight, 46 the overnight low with a northeast breeze around 5 to 15 miles an hour and, and gusty. Tomorrow, winds shifting more to the east and then eventually to the south, southeast by tomorrow night. Still Still brings lots of sunshine, clear skies, high of 81, breezy. Good Friday looks nice, 86 for a high temperature and south winds 10 to 15. We start edging in a little bit of rain possibility over the Easter holiday weekend. 20% on Saturday, 30% on Sunday. Both of these days will probably be late afternoon uh, shower activity. Does not look like it's going to be severe weather, so Easter egg hunts and sunrise surfaces on Sunday should go off without a hitch. Sports is straight ahead. Stay with us.